What's up guys and welcome to the Crystal Star YouTube page. As an indie artist, we're always required to give the highest quality content, even if we don't have the budget for it. If you're anything like me and ever spent a budget of seven to $10,000 on just one music video and had nothing left for marketing or Google ads for your music itself, then this is the video that you need to watch. I will show you how you can do it yourself for a low budget of $200. Day, record companies used to have a budget from five million to ten million dollars just for one music video today you will be lucky if you even get five thousand dollars from a record company to splurge on a music video and if you're an indie artist like myself that can be your life savings and today we will be in the city of Los Angeles California where I will take you behind the scenes of a music video that I will be shooting producing and directing with the help of some family members that have no clue of what they're doing but also are youtubers like myself and i will show you how you can create a low budget music video at the highest quality level let's go there are three steps to make your video a very cinematic video step one lighting Lighting, lighting, lighting. I don't know how many times I can say that, but it's the most important part of your video. It can take, you can shoot on a cell phone and have the correct lighting and it, it will turn it from a C movie into an A movie. I don't care what anybody can say. Lighting is so, so important. There are three components to lighting. Your key light, your soft overhead light, and your backlight. The key light is a light that is placed at a 45 degree angle of your face. So it's not hitting directly your, at your face. It's basically at the side of your face, which leads the other side as a shadow. When you're filming, you never want to film from the key light side of your face. You always want to film from the shadow side of your face. Step two. Soft overhead lighting. It's basically a soft light that goes above your head. It creates a light here on the top of your head and the key light is hitting you from this 45 degree angle. Step three is your backlighting. Backlighting separates you from the back of your set. A lot of people think that you have to have a red camera or a black magic camera you don't necessarily have to have the greatest camera of them all. Um, but what I will say is having great lenses really do the trick. So I own a Canon EOS 80D and I film on a 35 millimeter 1.8 aperture lens. It's a Canon lens. It's really great. I did a lot of research and everybody really lo loves this lens. 99% of the time I'll be filming with a 35 millimeter and then I will switch over for close-ups with a 50 millimeter Canon lens, which has an aperture of 1.4. What is step three? Location. Location. Uh, the way that I find my locations is by Peer Space. Peer Space has changed my life. I can dream up the most fairy tale land in the world, and I can type that into Peer Space, and it will find me the space that I'm looking for within whatever region that you're looking for. You can type in a zip code, an area code, whatever you want, and it will find you a space that is um, available to rent with no insurance um, and for low cost. From 20 to $100, you can find a really, really great spot on your space. We need to refocus the... One second, really exciting. <laughs> Me, 
And you on this side. And then this angle. If I just come alive, I believe again then. If it ain't gonna be okay, Yes. for more tips and tricks of how to create your own music video and yes it is very true i only spent 200 dollars on this music video check it out at the end of this video and let me know what you think leave a comment drop your name let me know how you guys like this video and i will leave you more tips and tricks um, it helps me create more content i'm an independent artist and i am creating these videos i love to help people and give them the knowledge that i have learned myself so thank you guys for tuning in Check you out later.